Hi guys, um, I'm Håkan Sundström from Sweden. Uh, I'm trying to do my first video upload to the to YouTube uh, uh, regarding uh, changing the carpet in my 2000 CA automatic from 1967. Uh, join me on this venture. Uh, having a cup of coffee in the morning. Strong Italian coffee makes me wake up in the morning. I'm not sure if I'm all uh, awake, but I'll try to uh, show you uh, the process uh, I'm going through with the car. I've never I've done carpet replacement before, but not on a BMW. I have a, a bunch of BMWs. All in all, I have seven old ones and a few new, newer ones. But but the, it's the, this channel will be concentrating on the older ones. And today, uh, mostly about uh, replacing the carpet. Uh, I think the carpet was originally sort of a velvety type, uh, quite smooth, uh, uh, almost upholstery-like carpet. Uh, it has a tendency, uh, uh, I've noticed, to lose some of its hairs. Uh, and um, I'm replacing it with a German loop pile. I think it's a wool wool carpet so durability uh, is of the essence I think uh, it's gonna look a lot better than it ha has been looking uh, I bought the car last year uh, I sold my 325 e30 convertible actually a car from uh, California imported a few years ago uh, and this this um, 2000 CA uh, was uh, originally sold to South Africa as I think m maybe some of you know and uh, imported to Sweden in 2015 uh, it had some I issues I've uh, replaced uh, ignition I've put in a 123 ignition that works amazing and I've changed the starter <laughs> because the car was starting always when cold but couldn't find the power enough to start when it was hot which meant that you had to wait for half an hour and then you could start the car quite unpractical and uh, I couldn't have it like this so I replaced it with an E30 starter the E30 starter is 1.4 kilowatts and the old starter was 0.9 kilowatts. So it's quite a sp strong starter and the weight of the starter is about half the weight of the original starter. So that saves you a little a little bit of weight for, for weight reduction for the car uh, which is always good especially when you are a big guy like I am. Well, I'm not big um, in that direction. I'm more like big in that direction. So, uh, something I have to live with. Live with. Okay, let's um, see what we can do with the carpet. Okay, so let's go out. It's quite a shitty day here in Sweden. Uh, as it often is in the winter time uh, there's quite uh, a lot of ice on the lake now I think it's at least 30 centimeters of ice being cold uh, living 60 kilometers south of Stockholm uh, I'm lucky enough to have eight garages this is one of them uh, Just trying to keep the bad people out. And there it is, the CA2000 C Automatic. As you've seen, 
that's the driver's seat and here is some of the new carpet I hope this uh, comes through on the vid video I'm a little bit worried about the light conditions and here you can see the floorboards and this is how the carpeting looks if you um, take out the four main carpets in the floor uh, I really think I have to do something about the light I'll get back <clears throat> okay this is the inside of the car the door shards quite nice condition the carman badge the inside of the sills everything looks nice and I think this is some kind of having a light problem for sure this is some kind of uh, dampening original dampening I think uh, but as you can see the carpet has seen better days and this is the style the velour style original carpet quite faded not so nice structural I think it's okay nothing there um, <clears throat> I had some questions about removing the back seat this is quite easy actually when the seat is in here it's stuffed in and you just pull it up remove it and in the rear this is actually just hinged or not hinged it's uh, uh, some kind of hooks in, in the back of the seat so you see it's quite loose but you can just pull it up and then you can take it out quite easily the roof it's okay nothing to do there maybe some cleaning a little bit of cleaning maybe <clears throat> but the main is issue is the carpet as you can see there are quite a few small pieces on the sills one in the rear one goes to the front glued to this inner sill there's one kick panel carpeting this one actually looks quite nice and uh, the tunnel of course is the ugly part and then also in the back there's a new piece here you can see it here that's the new piece so I'll try to take that one out when I have uh, taken the rear seat rest uh, out of the car <clears throat> these are the old bits that's the rear seat cushion passenger side seat and these are the original back carpets they are very thin and flimsy now and here you can also see the fading and the sort of loosing of the hair this is the passenger side from European style rubber carpets I think it was quite common at least in the and this is one of the new carpets we'll see if it's gonna be a good fit or not